Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Offer Vault webinar. Tonight, our special guest is Ralph Plum, and Ralph comes to you as an expert in organic traffic. And his company has achieved a significant status as Inc. 500's Educational Service of the Year. And I understand they had a big dinner and a big party. I don't think the president was there, but uh, they had a great time and celebrated it. In other words, we got somebody here who's going to tell us how to get traffic to come to you without necessarily mortgaging your kids and your house. Is that correct, Ralph? <laughs> You're right on, Rick, man. You're right on. Well, I, we're all craving that kind of information in this economy, so I'm going to turn it over to you and start making notes. And just as a note, we always uh, start off by saying, folks, it is being recorded, so it'll be available in the members area later. If you are experiencing any difficulties with the audio, we apologize. There's nothing we can do about it from our end. Uh, you might try logging out and logging back in, or I hate to say it, check the volume control and the audio controls. Otherwise, you just have to put up with it if there's a problem. But uh, other than that, uh, Ralph, it's all over you, and please, we're all uh, interested in what you have to tell us tonight. Wow, man. Thanks a lot, Rick. I really appreciate it. And, and as he said, you know, some people may be familiar with me on this call and others may not. Um, let me just start by introducing myself. My name is Ralph Plum. I'm a specialist on driving traffic online. Um, I, I drive traffic, I've paid for traffic for, for nearly a decade in, in every sense of the fact, every form of, of paid traffic, uh, but really where I've kind of separated myself and separated my clients over the last three years really has been through organic traffic and what we're going to talk about here is, is really dominating your online niche and, and really doesn't matter what niche that is. I, I know there's a lot of, lot of marketers out there on the call who who operate in multiple niches and, and frankly I do as well you know I'm gonna show you an example where you know I've actually dro driven traffic and created income off stretch mark creams quite simply because my wife gave birth she had some stretch marks she wanted to get rid of and I had to pay $150 for a tube of stretch mark cream and I realized shoot I did some some quick research on it and it was an untapped market and it's it's a great market that's bringing me consistent consistent income without a lot of work and, and without recurring uh, money out the door more importantly so without further ado I'm gonna get into it and again you know for those of you who are just arriving now the folks of this call is going to be building out niche traffic sites around your specific niche or really any niche that you want driving organic traffic and really monetizing in a variety of different fashions because at the end of the day we all need traffic, but we also need to monetize, and that's where most most marketers go wrong. Is you know they're trying to generate traffic in a lot of different ways, but they don't understand necessarily how to monetize uh, really from from every different angle. And I think that's probably one of my specialties: not only driving traffic organically uh, and and really paid as well, but but really turning that traffic into dollars and cents because that's that's really what matters. All right, let's get started. So how are we going to do this? And it, it's really, really simple. The answer is SEO. And, and this is a big, a big kind of standing point for a lot, of, a lot of marketers. One is because I think a lot of people are clouded about what true SEO really is and, and how easy it can be if you know what you're doing. And, and frankly, it's really, really difficult to, to know what you're doing in SEO and, and really it's not your fault if you're confused or you haven't had success generating organic traffic quite simply because there's so many mixed messages out there about organic traffic these days I mean you have the big huge players that are out there you know touting all the different things that you have to do and how difficult it is and, and, and really how structured it has to be and, and some of that is right there's no doubt about it uh, but a lot of things that a lot of the bigger players are recommending just frankly don't make a lot of sense for driving consistent traffic within your niche because frankly you're trying to compete where you just flat out can't obtain organic traffic because that's really really important that's something that we're going to go into in detail on this call is where we can find and locate organic traffic that we can rank for and create pages around in literally 15 or 20 minutes I mean that's that's really where it becomes a game changer is when we can create organic traffic. I mean, I literally create organic traffic and organic generating sites faster than I can create a paid campaign. I mean, it's it's absolutely staggering. And, and uh, let's just let's just keep moving forward and, and get into it. And why do I like organic traffic? Because quite simply, it's free. And here's how it works, and, and why 
most people are going to be blown away as to why organic traffic is is really the answer. And some people might know these stats and, and others may not. But frankly, it doesn't matter if you're promoting affiliate offers, if you're selling your own product, if you're list building, if you have an e-commerce store, if you earn with just AdSense or you earn over social networks and you promote on social networks, or frankly, you're just getting started online. It really does not matter. And I think I, I touched on it before when I talked about how most marketers don't really understand and, and kind of get lost in how, how to monetize sometimes. Uh, it doesn't matter really how you're monetizing in, in these sense. Like you can literally do, do any of, and all of these things. And frankly, I do all of these things and I promote my clients to do all of these things as well. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. All you need is traffic. And, and frankly, this is where 99% of all marketers fall short is because they have a lack of traffic flat out. And, and most people, and what most people are promoting now, which, which absolutely pisses me off, excuse me, if uh, I may offend some people. Let me just kind of get that out. Rick, we didn't get that out in the intro. I, I may offend some people. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad. But frankly, it, it's, uh, I'm sick and tired of people kind of just leaning towards and just promoting paid traffic as the only answer. And you know, if you have what's called a self-liquidating offer, or you can you can just kind of break even and just kind of maybe make a little bit on your affiliate affiliate commission based on what what you're paying out. I mean, flat out, stop it. Don't listen to that anymore. In my opinion, I use paid traffic, but it's not my primary traffic generation strategy. It's simply organic traffic. And why? The, the easy answer is that's where most of the traffic is. It's it's inorganic, without a doubt. And this is the question that. You know, we we asked ourselves, and we continually ask ourselves, is how can we build a steady stream of traffic that doesn't require consistent maintenance, or force us to rely on networks that are out of our control? Because frankly, as as affiliate marketers and really any type of marketer, there's been some big changes over the last few years about how we market online, and you know, it seems like every day there's a new a new shift. I mean. Uh, it's becoming more and more difficult to use paid traffic, and it's it's only going to increase as time goes on. Because what's happening is all these paid sources are just getting more and more pushback uh, from either regulators or whomever, uh, or whether it's even their users about how they're displaying their results and, and how people are coming through their systems and, and what types of offers are being presented to people. So our goal always, and, and it's my goal, and it's the same thing I convey to all my clients or anyone I'm doing driving traffic for. Is we always want to answer this question. So we want steady, consistent traffic, that, and maintenance is big too because a lot of people, a lot of SEO strategies require such a high level of maintenance that at the end of the day, it just flat out doesn't make sense because it requires so much time. Number one, or it requires not not only money, it requires a ton of money, not from a paid sense like paid traffic, but paid sense as far as hiring writers getting consistent content up there and, and making sure that you're getting in front of people and consistently adding content to your sites. So whenever you're trying to drive traffic, always try to answer this question. It's something that we always keep in mind. Now, let's just, let's just, I'm going to go through this really quick. I mean, this is just a general overview, but it'll, it'll make great sense as we get into, get into the, the bulk of the session and the strategies that we're using right now to consistently drive organic traffic in every niche that we compete in. So clearly, I mean, a general search result for X training, I mean, everyone knows anytime someone hits search, we have organic results, which are the top 10 results. That's all we care about. That's all we're going to talk about on this call is the top 10 results. We don't care about getting buried anywhere else in organic rankings. So we have the top 10 organic results. Then we have the number one organic result, which is obviously the number one spot and where we want to be. Then we have our paid results. And, and this has been a big strategy for a lot of people, and, and I've... <laughs> I've spent probably more than most uh, on, on paid ad campaigns and, and simply this, my strategy that I've come up with that I'm going to share with you tonight is, is not something that, that came out of sheer genius. <laughs> I would say, I wish it did. I would say it came more out of having to look for more sustainable long-term strategies to my online marketing business. I mean, that's really the, the biggest element to why we created this, this strategy, why we created this system is simply because we could no longer drive traffic and generate income, at least in a sustainable manner. See, what we'll find is we'll find pockets and we'll be able to drive traffic from a paid, paid standpoint and, and 
really make a lot of money, but it's not it's not always sustainable and work mercy of whether it's Google, Facebook, or otherwise, what their rules and regulations are going to be not today but tomorrow and, and how they're going to impact our business. And frankly, you know, I I am not one who wants to rely on how Google's making their money or how Facebook's making their money to, to, to run my business. And let me let me bring up another point that kind of drives me drives me absolutely nuts. And that that is the conversation I hear it all the time about SEO and, and people that are reluctant to drive and create highly optimized, highly SEO optimized sites that are going to generate consistent organic traffic. People have this reluctance and this reluctance stems from their fear of Google changing their algorithm or Google all of a sudden not recognizing your site. And, and to be honest with you, let me just get this straight right now and, and give you my opinion on this and, and frankly uh, it, it's it's the right opinion <laughs> not only because I say it but it's 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 a fact a lot of that fear of Google's changing of their algorithm or what they're gonna rank as a, as a or what they're gonna look at as a, a site that they're gonna rank highly and and they're gonna want to promote to the first page of their organic rankings that fear stems from big SEO companies that don't want to share or they want to instill fear in their clients and they want to instill fear in people from doing it themselves flat out right that's that's the biggest issue Google while they do make changes to their to their algorithm and they keep some elements secret and they share other elements it's pretty simple Google's main objective is to display the most relevant results and the most targeted results for what the exact term people are searching for. Flat out. That's without a doubt their, their number one interest and they've stated that since they started their search engine. They want to make the user's experience the best they possibly can and the way they do that is by displaying the most relevant results. And for Google, it, it really relies on, they want as, as targeted and as they want to make the content as easy for their algorithms to find and make sure that they're delivering as targeted and as relevant as content as possible. Can it's I, that simple. Now, if they go. Can I make a heretical comment? And I don't know. Go if, ahead. Well, it just strikes me that what you just said more or less suggests that the reason Google goes after its algorithm changes to find the best content is because everybody out there is trying to work around it to get theirs up top when it isn't any good. And good content is always going to come to the top. Am I right that if you make good stuff, it's going to be there? That's absolutely correct. And the truth of the matter is, and, and most people on this call probably know this, and if you don't, here's a little nugget for you, but it's, it's, no, it's no secret that Google has flat out stated publicly that they're going away from what they call content farms. These big sites, your about.com, your eHouse, these massive sites that put, just put general content out there about a bunch of shit. Really, at the end of the day, that's all it is. And all they're trying to do is just literally target thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds and literally millions of keywords. And they're going after all these different keywords, but their site is not focused on specific content. And the truth of the matter is, Google understands and it recognizes the fact that if you're a smaller site, they're making it easier for you to compete. And they, what they made the mistake, and that's why they've made some changes recently, is these bigger sites, all they were doing is just putting crap content out there. And that's why we've seen consistently time and time again that we've been able to, to rank for pretty competitive keywords that you might think of against some pretty big players that, that have been you know, on the first page for a long time and really kicking them out of their of their perch, if you will, simply because Google's sick of these big content farms just putting flat out crap up on the you know on, on a page and saying, hey, you know, we're big, you know you can trust us, Google, display our results, right? So hopefully that answers your question. I mean, yes, absolutely, it's they, they want they don't want shit, but they also want they want more targeted content. That's what they're looking for. So there's my there's my tirade into the big search engine both both uh, organizations and companies that instill fear in, in kind of uh, us smaller players that are trying to trying to drive organic traffic, right? And, and frankly, it's a myth. It's not something that is 
that is uh, that is proven to be true. They do not change their algorithm as much as people think, and they're going towards smaller, more niche sites that are that are built around highly focused content. So that's it. I'm done. I'm off my I'm off my uh, my stump here. So let's let's get going forward. So I just walked through brief analysis of the different displays when you're when you're running different terms, and obviously we want to be found organically, and we want to be on the first result, but. Here's some stats that are very, very important that everyone understands and why I'm so passionate about organic traffic. Anyone who listens to me, whether it's at an event or it's, it's on a webinar or it's just shit one-on-one -on, -one on a call, flat out, this is why I'm so traffic about, uh, I'm, so, I'm so passionate about organic traffic. And simply it's the distribution of the clicks. And simply paid results don't get enough of the traffic to justify my my time. I mean, frankly, I can compete. If, when I get ranked on the first page of Google organically, I'm going to see a, such a higher level of, of clicks and traffic than I will through paid strategies. I mean, paid strategies, really, you're going to get 2 to 3% of the total clicks for any one paid result. Now, here's where it gets fancy. If you, if you know this, that's awesome. If you don't, if you're hearing this for the first time, you know, this needs to blow your mind because the first organic result is going to get 41 to 45 times the traffic than the first paid search term. So that's 41 to 45 times more traffic, more sales. I mean, you can equate it to any number you want, but it's a, it's a multiple of 41 times over the paid search terms. Now, it doesn't get much worse from there. The second result is going to get 11 to 18% of the traffic. The third result, 7 to 15% of the traffic. Then you have results four through nine, they're going to get two times as much traffic as the first paid result. So if I'm buried in the middle of the first page, am I super upset? No, because I'm getting still two times more traffic than the first paid result. And frankly, people are, if I'm on the first page organically, not only am I going to get more traffic, but people are going to trust that result much, much more than they will any paid result. People, Everybody who's searching the internet right now is becoming more and more savvy to paid results and organic results. That's why the, the clicks are distributed in this way, but also when people click on a paid result, they know that they're clicking a paid result. So right off the bat, they're just gonna be a little bit more hesitant. That's just human nature. Anytime someone's gonna promote something, hey, come buy something, or hey, here I am. Well, frankly, they're gonna be a little bit more reluctant, a little bit more hesitant than they would be if they're just coming across that, that information organically or it's referred by a friend or something like that. So that's why it's super, super important. That's why we like organic traffic so much. Now, this is pretty cool. The 10th result, the last result, gets three to four times more traffic than the first paid result. So if I'm number 10, I'm going to get twice as much traffic as four through nine. And quite simply, study after study has shown, the reason for that is people just scroll to the bottom. They're looking for results. They realize there's none left and then they're just gonna click on the last result. So it's really, really important. It just shows the power and the traffic that's contained within the organic results contained within Google. I mean, it's just, it's undeniable, and you can't, you can't deny, I mean, study after study has shown this to be true, that all the traffic in Google is focused in the organic results. So the, the biggest thing is we're not paying for that traffic. That's the most important element to this. So when we build these sites, certainly we have to buy a domain, and certainly we have some setup costs. But what I'm going to show you is how we've mitigated a lot of those costs and how we can deliver traffic, fully optimized sites that are generate consistent organic traffic for a fraction of the cost is what it would set up to create one, cam one paid campaign for that same traffic, yet you own the site, you own the asset, and you own that ranking. And to be honest with you, it's very, very easy to maintain a ranking. That's another myth about, about search engine optimization. A lot of people feel like it's, it's super difficult to maintain a ranking. If you do and you follow the strategies that we're going to talk about here and the concepts that we're going to talk about, how we build these niche traffic sites that are fully optimized, if we follow these strategies and do everything Google tells us to do, we are going to have a great time and, and you're going to see that it requires very, very little maintenance to maintain a spot on the first page of Google and a high spot at that. That's very, very important. Remember what we talked about. We don't want to pay for traffic. We don't want to be reliant upon 
either Facebook or Google for their paid ad campaigns. But more importantly too, we don't wanna have, if we're getting organic results, we don't wanna be spending all our time, effort, and energy just making sure we keep those results that we obtain. So that's very, very important. So I touched on it before, it's only getting worse for paid traffic. I mean, if you've done paid campaigns, you know that it's becoming increasingly difficult and all the different providers out there are, are flat out telling us that it's going in that direction. I mean, just sending straight to a squeeze page and sending to, straight to all offer pages is becoming increasingly difficult. It really, really is. Uh, so that's why it's very important that we, we understand how we can drive organic traffic consistently. And, and let's touch on something else. We also want to be able to get ranked quickly too. And this is something that a lot of people, when, when they see this concept for the first time, have a very difficult time understanding as to why they can get ranked so quickly for certain terms. So let's, let's keep moving forward. So we're going to flip the lid on traditional SEO. And that's, that's what I do. But I'm gonna show you first how we analyze keywords. And this is something that's not gonna blow a lot of people's minds, but it's important we have this foundation, both for traditional SEO and, and keyword analysis. Um, a lot of this, again, is not gonna be absolutely new stuff. It's gonna be new to some people, but it's, again, it's important that we have this foundation. And it's also important that you understand what I'm telling you and teaching you as we move forward throughout this presentation that I'm not, I'm not presenting about some, some kind of black hat scheme or some sort of you know, article spinning type offer or article spinning type argument. It just flat out, that's not what I believe in and that's not what I preach. A lot of what I teach is, is stuff that you may have heard before but it's gonna be presented in a very, very different way. So it's important we have that foundation and you understand that we're not gonna break away from some of that stuff. We are gonna break away from a lot of it and a lot of it has to do with the time, effort, energy, and money it takes to get ranked. So first, what I call traditional SEO and effective SEO, they're both centered around keywords, and there's three essential factors for keywords, and we can just boil it down to, to these elements, and that's it. First, money keywords, right? You need to make sure a keyword is a money keyword, right? It's, it's once you get that traffic, is it a keyword that is gonna, is gonna convert for you? That's the first and foremost. If you don't have a money keyword, you're wasting your time. I mean. I work with a lot of people that, hey, yeah, I'm ranked for this keyword or I'm driving traffic for this keyword, but flat out, they're ranking for the wrong, they're going after the wrong type of traffic. You need to know what's a money keyword for you, your offer, or what you're promoting. It's the most important thing. And once we have a money keyword, we need, on an SEO, this is a traditional fashion. So this is if we're building out a, a, a bigger site. And this is what a lot of people talk about, building out you know, if you're building out a blog site. So we're gonna create a, a site that's gonna target these money keywords. And you know, a lot of times we'll write a blog post that'll, that'll integrate these keywords. And then what we'll do is we'll share these pages on social bookmarking sites and we'll generate some backlinks. And a lot of times, you know, we'll, we'll make sure that we have the URL contained within those different pages. But this is where we're gonna flip the lid just a little bit. What I talk about and what I teach is building, and it's called mini site SEO. First up, we're gonna create a new website around that specific keyword. And we're gonna use this keyword in the new domain. So whatever that keyword is, we're gonna buy a domain with that exact search term, that exact keyword search term in our domain. Very, very important element. And then we're gonna optimize every aspect of the site down to the last detail to be a traffic generating machine. Now, what's very, very important is when we're, when we're optimizing the site and every aspect of the site to be fully optimized, there's a couple things that we're gonna take into account. One is we're not gonna sacrifice conversions. That's very, very important. A lot of people fail to understand how you can do that because that, again, we can get traffic, but we need to make sure we're converting on that traffic. So we're gonna optimize the traffic down to the last detail to make sure it is fully optimized in every sense of the word, even to the point where we're buying a new keyword, we're buying a new domain for, for every keyword that we wanna rank for. Uh, and this has been this, our core strategy around this mini site SEO. So let's, let's move on, and this is again, this is the difference. So traditional SEO, you create a page where you're targeting keywords, you write a blog post, share them on a social bookmarking site. This mini site SEO, we're creating a new website around this keyword, we're using the keyword in the domain and then we're optimizing every other aspect of the site down to the, deep, the last little detail to, to generate traffic. 
So the next important factor in selecting keywords is potential traffic. So we talked about we have to make sure it's a money keyword first and foremost, and then we have to make sure there's potential traffic there. I mean, I can't tell you how many times people will be ranking for the wrong keywords just just flat out because they, they haven't done the research and they haven't educated themselves on exactly the traffic that they should be going after or what's the potential traffic there more importantly, right? Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure our efforts are going to be monetized and we need to know our metrics. So it's important that we understand what that search volume is, what the potential traffic is, so we know what we can potentially monetize that site for. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating paid campaigns, meaning in the same sense that you'd analyze a paid campaign, right? What's our ROI on a paid campaign? We do the same thing in an organic campaign, but it's very, very different. And why is it different? Because once you set up that campaign, if I relate it to a paid strategy, it's there, it's done. It requires very little maintenance. You're not continually outlaying money to generate that traffic. Your site is ranked organically for that keywords and that, that traffic comes in consistently. So that's why we need to make sure that there's, there's traffic there. So we need to make sure when we're selecting keywords, we have money keywords and potential traffic. And thirdly, the next important factor, frankly, is, is competition, right? This is a, a big issue a lot of marketers have and a lot of people that try to go after organic traffic is they think <laughs> they don't put their ego aside and they say, all right, I know that there's there's X number of competing pages and I, and I know that, but my site's going to be better. I'm going to optimize my site better and that's why I'm going to rank. And they have the wrong approach from a competition perspective. They just flat out think because it's them and they think because, hey, it's me, it's my site, I know SEO, I'm going to put the money and effort behind it and the time behind it, I'm going to rank for that, that keyword. And frankly, that's the wrong approach because there are so many keywords and there are so many search results that people are searching for organically right now that are not even close to being tapped. And it goes for every single niche. It doesn't matter what niche you're in. It doesn't matter if you're, you're selling golf clubs or you're selling stretch mark creams or, or tanning supplies or, or affiliate products like, like nutrition products or you're selling just other info products. It does not matter what you're selling or what you're driving traffic for. People are out there searching for things and using search terms that you would never think they are searching for. And that's very, very important. So we go after high competition, I'm sorry, high traffic, low competition keywords that are going to convert for us. So those are the three essential elements to, to keywords. And this doesn't matter. This isn't blowing anyone's mind. If you've done SEO successfully, and this isn't any different than, than you've probably heard when you're performing keyword research in another fashion. It, it, this is nothing new, but it's important you understand what I'm teaching you and what I'm talking about doesn't deviate from that strategy. That Those elements are absolutely the same. So we're going to talk about traditional SEO real quick, and I'm going to fly through this. So if, if you're not familiar with this, make sure you grab, grab a pen and paper um, and write this down because these are important elements. If you are familiar with, I'm going to go through it pretty quick, so just, just hang with me here. Traditional SEO, you know, you have a main website, and what you do, there, there's two real elements to, to SEO. You have on-site SEO and off-site SEO, and there's a lot of different things that go on there, but let's just not overcomplicate things. Those are the two elements. And let's start first with on-site SEO. These are the eight big elements for on-site SEO. There's more. I'm sure there's people on the call, hey, there's, there's other things that matter. Yes, there are some other things that matter. These are the eight essential elements for on-site SEO in order of importance. Now, number one is something that a lot of people don't necessarily target when they're when they're targeting specific keywords. And they may have it in the URL, but they a lot of people will not have it in the domain. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Uh, keyword in the title tag, the keyword needs to be in the H1 and other header tags. The keyword, and when I say keyword, by the way, if it's a longer tail keyword, which it will be in a lot of instances, I mean key phrase, so we can, we can substitute that. When I say keyword, I mean key phrase as well. The keyword needs to be in the internal link anchor text, needs to be in the external link anchor text. The keyword density is important. So again, I'm not deep. These are things that you've been taught in traditional on-site SEO from a lot of people, I'm sure. 
graphic do's and don'ts. Flash is going to kill you. You need to make sure your alt, your alt image text is done properly, um, so on and so forth. This is very important. You need to make it easy for search engines to find your sites, site maps, meta tags, etc. So these eight, these are the eight essential elements to on-site SEO as I boil them down here. Now, again, this doesn't translate. What I'm going to teach you in mini-site SEO and niche traffic SEO, it's exactly the same same as traditional. These elements are not going to change. But what's going to be very, very different is the way we go about integrating all of these elements into our sites. Because in order to do the strategy that and implement the strategy that, that I'm going to share with you and teach you, we need to make sure that we can do this in a scalable fashion. Right? That's the biggest thing. We need to make sure we can create multiple sites around multiple keywords in a scalable fashion and not have to worry about everything being done properly. Because frankly, you know, in the past, the way I used to do, I've done these things and I've built highly optimized lead generation sites and I've, I've paid very good developers and designers to, to, to work with me on them. And frankly, every time it seemed that I asked for a site to come back, if it was a little bit different than a, than a site I've had them develop in the past, something was always wrong. Nothing was ever perfect. And, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people can feel my pain there. But these essential elements need to be there no matter what type of SEO that you're doing. And then after that, we have offset SEO. And, and again, we're not going to overcomplicate offset SEO, but the process of writing and submitting articles, sending out press releases, linking back to your sites, social bookmarking sites, essentially just building, building links all around the web, pointing back to your site. And, and offsite has, has one goal. It's getting links back to your site that both through those links and then also through the general uh, the, the backlinking process and, and having more links to your site, Google's going to rank you higher in the search rank. And again, that's nothing that's that's going to blow anyone's mind at this point. But it's it's very very important that we understand that offsite SEO is also as important as onsite SEO. So a lot of people will have what we call this is a real estate money site, but a lot of different what we call money sites. So a primary site, and that's that's fine. And, and I'm not going to tell you to go away from this. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna flip the script a little bit here. So whether whatever niche you're in, whether it's real estate, whether it's whether you're just a flat out straight affiliate marketer and you you generate income from a lot of different niches, uh, it doesn't matter if you have these big primary money sites, keep them. That's not what we're focusing on right now. And there's benefits of of money sites. They build credibility. If you want to have company branding, sell products, have multiple offers. If you're if you're doing some other list building strategies. You know, it it can work for you, and they can they can benefit. Now, your money money site is not going to generate the kind of income that we're going to want it to create for you. Just flat out, it's not. And I'm going to also flip the script for you real quick on on squeeze pages. A lot of people are using squeeze pages as either to capture leads, and it just doesn't work. And they're trying to drive paid traffic to it, either through email signage, paid online advertisements, whether it's Facebook or, or Google. But what we're doing though right now, we're getting squeeze pages. What we see as squeeze pages with opt-ins, both with video um, and, and text pushing to opt-in, just flat out squeeze pages. We're getting squeeze pages to get ranked organically right now. And I'm going to show you really, really quickly how we're doing that because I think that's something that is going to blow people's minds because ranking squeeze pages is something that a lot of people, frankly, have thought is impossible. Uh, but we're going to get into exactly how we do that. And, and really, what's important though is why squeeze pages aren't indexed. And, and some people, but it's not a sit there and do nothing lead generator. It doesn't get indexed by Google and the other search engines. It doesn't get found. And frankly, it's not by itself the answer. So. Here's where we're going to get into our exact strategy and how we build these lead capture sites and how we're generating so many of these organic, organic, both lead generation, affiliate generate, every type of online income generating sites in a fraction of the time that we used to. And we do it by these mini sites. No, here's a, what the heck is a mini site? And I get this question all the time and I'm sure everyone on this call right now is asking the same question. The heck is this guy talking about? The key is though, we have to set up 10, 20, or 100 of these mini sites that are designed to capture leads or to generate income that are highly optimized for a high traffic, low competition keyword. So what I'm telling you is, 
building just one of these sites is not the answer. So if, if you're someone that wants to just build one site or two sites, it, it's just flat out not the answer. The key is that we need to have a ton of these sites up uh, for this strategy to be successful. And that's why it's, it's the traffic accumulation model. That's what this is built around. And that's, that's really the secret. And a lot of people are like, Jesus, why did I get on this call? That's a lot of work. And, and frankly, the way we used to do it, it absolutely was. It was an incredible amount of work. And the process involves 10 different steps, you know, using 10 different programs, softwares, and, and websites. And if anyone's ever done this with success, they feel my pain. But here's how I did this to generate organic traffic for years and years and years and years. And frankly, when I flipped the script and did it differently, I wanted to absolutely go back and kill my old self, my past self, because I spent so much time and money both outsourcing and then doing a lot of these tasks internally as well to build these sites. But let me just go through the process of building a highly optimized site and, and what it takes. So first up, you need to do keyword research. And Google's keyword research tools is where I used to do that. And you know, we need to check competition. And, and where I used to do this was in within Market Samurai. Because again, it's very important that we, we understand what the competition is once we, we understand what the potential search volume is. Then we need to check for domain availability. And as you can see here, we have Danica Patrick. So back in the day, I didn't mind going to GoDaddy all the time or any of my other host accounts, particularly if Danica was on the, on the home page. Um, but we need to check for domain availability. And then we need to set up hosting, right? And then from there, we need to make sure we transfer all the site files. Then we need to structure all the on-site SEO. So all those essential elements to on-site SEO need to be structured 100% properly in order to be fully optimized. We need to have a proper site design and layout for whatever offer is going to be, but then also our site design and layout needs to make sure that it's fully optimized for SEO, every down to the, the last little detail. Then we need to create unique content, and this is a very, very important element because what we're talking about doing and this is this again doesn't deviate from from any other type of SEO. We don't. I do not believe in spinning content. I do not believe in copying content. Google absolutely will slap the hell out of you for having. If you have straight duplicate content, you're you're gone. Forget about it. Um, you need to have unique content. And I used to hire an absolute team of writers. I used to use Odesk. I mean, you know, a lot of people. I use Elance for some of it, but most of my writers I got through Odesk. And man, if you've ever tried to manage a team of writers offshore, oh my God, forget about it. It was, it was honestly, it was probably the, the worst step out of all these different things. I mean, a lot of these things I could do with relative ease, but when I was creating and, and building these sites and building a lot of pages with unique content and managing writers kind of individually through, through ODS for Elance, that was the biggest pain for me. Uh, just frankly, because the amount of time it took. Uh, it just took so much time to be able to, to manage and create all the unique content for all the different sites that I was creating on a daily basis. So that is something that, honestly, I needed to find a solution for, and, and we obviously have. So after we create the unique content, though, we need to make sure that we have off-site SEO. So we would have to hire a bunch of, again, I would outsource all this. I never did offsite SEO in house. I mean, if, if you're trying to do offsite SEO in house, you're you're, you're crazy, in my opinion. Um, it, it's a task that, that absolutely needs to be outsourced. So then we would do all the offsite SEO, and then lastly, and kind of the biggest step is we need to manage our rankings. And obviously, we need to manage where our sites are being ranked and. The reason why I say that is because in the past, the way I used to do this is checking rankings and, and making sure that we're monitoring where we're at in the, in the search results is very, very important because we obviously want to make sure that, that we don't move around too much, that we're staying on the first page. And, and as I said before, and I stick to it, staying on the first page is not, I repeat, is not as big a deal as a lot of people make it out to be. It really flat out isn't. If you have a fully optimized site, if you... Have, have optimized your site in every sense of the word and you get ranked, it's, it's very, very easy to maintain that ranking. Now, a lot of sites and a lot of big content farm sites and a lot of the bigger sites that we knock off, they have difficulty maintaining their position organically, frankly, simply because they don't have 
dedicated, focused content. Their, their content and their site is based around a big, huge general search term or, or, or general keyword term, and they're out there just trying to create top content for so many different terms. And they're just, they're just, they're just keyword whores. They're out there just trying to capture as many keywords as they can, flat out. That's what, they, that's what they would do, and that's why they have a difficult time maintaining their rankings. But if you create a highly focused, highly optimized site around specific key terms that you're trying to rank for, well, frankly, it's very, very easy to maintain that ranking. So as you can see, building just one of these sites was ridiculous, let alone trying to build 15 or 20 all at once. And, and frankly, this is exactly why we were looking for a solution. And we had a lot of success using this strategy and, and we created a lot of traffic and generated a lot of income both for ourselves and for and for our high paying clients. And the reason why is because, again, I touched on it before, organic traffic is not only the best because it's where all the traffic is. I mean, frankly, you just look at any, you look at any report of where clicks are being distributed on Google, it's, it's in the organic results, I mean, flat out. And it's, it's on the first page, obviously. So that's where we need to be. And the other reason is it's becoming more and more difficult to drive what we call money conversion, tra like traffic that we can convert into dollars through paid campaigns. It's just becoming very difficult. And a lot of people ask, do I do it? Yeah, I, I do do paid campaigns. But the problem with paid campaigns is a lot of times we'll have success and then we'll get, you know, they'll change how they how they'll allow us to, to generate that income or other people are doing it and it's kind of this, this copycat type strategy. So once we start doing a paid campaign, it's, it's very easy for people to see what we're doing and kind of copy that exact same strategy where organically it's, it's much more difficult for people to, to copy a strategy that, that you're doing organically because frankly a lot of people don't understand how organic traffic can be obtained in a much easier fashion. So again, building a site using those 10 steps was, was very, it was flat out ridiculous. Uh, and, and again, as I told you before, building one site to rank organically is not the solution. Uh, flat out, it needs to be on, on a higher volume. So this is exactly how we've, we've done it. And we've integrated every step of that process into one solution. And it's the niche traffic profits solution, right? And powered by the niche traffic builder software. And I'm going to dive into exactly how we do this. So first up, we enter a general keyword search term. And, and we may know the exact term that we want to go after, we may not. But what's important here is we enter the general term that we're trying to look for. So it doesn't matter what it is. This is kind of niche-based. So it's a general niche term that you're trying to go after. Once we enter that term, we then want to identify and evaluate keywords. So what the system does, we have a direct API with Google and it spits back relevant keywords to your niche the in the resulting search terms, right? Or the resulting keywords based around that search term, right? So we're going to evaluate those key terms. And then what we're going to do is detailed competition analysis. So when we evaluate the key terms and de determine what key terms we're going to want to go after, I forgot to mention, what we do within the software is we pull up the exact competition for all those keywords. So the first level of competition analysis when we're evaluating our keywords is quite simply, we look at what the number of, of monthly searches there are, but then we also evaluate what the total competition is, right? We wanna know exactly what that total competition is. Now, that's only, that's only one element of it, and that's where a lot of people go wrong. So, okay, I know what my general competition is for that term, just, just a number. I know what that general number is. But then what we want to do is we want to look at a detailed competition analysis to say, okay, exactly what, what's happening on the first page of Google. So what are the sites that are being ranked for that key term? What are they, look, what are they doing? How difficult is it going to be for me to get ranked? I don't know about you, but I like, it. I like things to be easy. So a lot of times, this is where we put our ego aside and we let the software and the system determine what key terms we're going to want to rank for, flat out. And there's plenty within every niche. It's not, there are so many keywords within every niche where there's opportunity. And when we're doing our detailed competition analysis, 
what we're doing is we're looking for the first 10 results that Google returns organically. What we're doing is we're seeing if their domain contains the keyword, if the title contains the keyword, if the header tag contains the keyword, and if the description contains the keyword. We also look at the number of backlinks and the number of pages within that site, because those are also some things that we're going to want to evaluate. So this is very, very important. It provides a detailed competition analysis of exactly what we want to go after. And it's laid out in a simple green-red format. So anywhere you see red, that means that those sites have optimized for that element. So in this case, you can see that there's mostly green and a little bit of red. So the second term, for instance, the second site that's ranking for this specific term in this example, currently is not doing anything in the, the four most important on-site SEO elements is not doing any of them. They're not doing any of them. So it's a, definitely an easy way that we can look at to see if we are going to be able to rank or not rank. That's very, very important because after all, we don't want to go through all this work of building out a site, optimizing a site before we can know if we're going to rank for it or not. Next up, we want to get the domain. So once we identify and we do do our detailed competition analysis, we want to get the domain. So right within the software, we have the ability to purchase the domain and to, to look for domains that are available. And what the system does is, I get this question all the time, Ralph, what's the best domain? Because a lot of times, there's not the exact .com or even .org or .net or .info available. Like, what's the best domain for me to go after? Is it a, is it a one? Like, what's the best suffix? Do I add, is a dash better? What we do and what the software does is it spits out the best results based on the feedback and all the analysis and the data that we have at our disposal. And we have a lot of different sites, I mean literally thousands of different sites that we have this data from to be able to analyze so that way we return the best domains that are available around that specific keyword. Next up we want to set up right within the software what we're able to do is we're able to create the site and build the site that it fully optimized for that specific keyword. And that's very, very important. So remember I talked about the old way I used to do it where we used to go out to hire a designer and, and go through all these different steps and make sure the site was fully optimized. Well, frankly, that's flat out, it's the wrong way to do it because if you can't do it in a, in a, in a fashion where it's, it's systemizable and it's scalable, you're not gonna have success. And this is how we do it. All the sites are structured so that all the on-site SEO is, is done properly. So the title tag, the H1 tags, they're all set up in the right place and the software does that for you. And after we do that, we have pre-built both lead conversion sites, we have pre-built affiliate offer sites that not only are gonna do all the on-site SEO elements 100%, but what they're gonna do, they're not gonna sacrifice conversions because that's very, very important. We wanna make sure that we not only are getting ranked organically, but we want to make sure that we can turn those that traffic into conversions. So the pre-built lead conversion sites and the pre-built affiliate offer sites and the pre-built sales funnel sites, those are all fully optimized for not only SEO, but for conversions, because that's a very important element. Next up, we need to publish the site. So we publish our site right within the software. Then we're going to order unique content. So Right within the software, we have a team of over 2,000 trained SEO writers that return content, and this is 100% unique content around your key term for two cents a word. So for two cents a word, you can get unique content around your specific keyword returned to right there, right where you order it, right within this software, within 24 to 48 hours. Folks, this is highly optimized SEO content. This isn't garbage content that's, that's not optimized. This is highly optimized content that's, again, a team of 2,000 writers. Now, here's what happens, and this is important. So we order the content, and if it comes back, and the process is, it goes out, to a writer, a writer has the ability to claim that, that content piece. If they're familiar with that niche, they'll write it. If not, they move on to the niches that, that they are. And this all happens on the back end. Once they claim the article, they now have eight hours to submit it to the editor. 
and the editor goes through and proofreads the article, make sure it makes sense, make sure it's fully optimized for SEO, and if it is, they put it in the queue and it's returned back for you, and you get, you get email prompted, and then when you log into the system, it's, hey, you have content flashing right in front of your face to publish to your site. Now, it's, folks, it's all contained within the site. If you don't like the content for whatever reason, all you do is reject the site. You can re or reject the content. You reject the content, it's rewritten and turned back around to you within 12 hours. That happens very, very, very small percentage of the time. Now, of course, of course, it's going to happen from time to time, but it's a very, very small percentage. So instead of now negotiating with your Elance writer or your Odesk writer, <laughs> to rewrite that article for you, literally with click a button, it gets submitted back and it gets sent back to you once it's rewritten. And folks, you can do it as many times as you like, uh, but I have never resubmitted an article more than once. I would say probably it happens 5% of the time for me where I'm resubmitting articles where, you know, for whatever reason I don't like it, maybe it's structure, maybe they were a little bit off in the type of the article, the way I wanted the article structured. Uh, but literally with a click of the button, I ask it to be rewritten and it comes right back to me. So a key essential element and one of the best things about the software is we can order unique content from right within the software. Then we have offsite SEO. So remember all the backlinking and social bookmarking and all these different elements, whether it's a press release or, or general social bookmarking or, or article directory submission for your site, there's offsite SEO. This, there's both free and paid versions of this right within the software. So there's a free version, and frankly, folks, this is actually something that we've seen and been super excited about over the last year. The, there's a submission option of over 60 free article directories where with a click of the button, you can submit your site and create backlinks to 60 article directories for free, folks, for free. And we've seen better results than any of the paid options to be honest with you. So for $27, you can get 125 social bookmarks. Now, if you want to do this yourself, I, I dare you to go ahead and, and, and do it. That's fine. And folks, this is the exact, this strategy and these elements that I'm bringing you through right now about entering a general term, finding your keywords, evaluating your keywords, doing the analysis, getting your domain up, setting up the site, optimizing the site, publishing your site, getting the unique content ordered, doing all your offsite SEO. Folks, this is a process that in order to be successful managing SEO, you need to follow this process. Now, the reason why I share all these elements and, and don't just kind of say, hey, this is a software and I promise you it does this is because it's important you understand what it does and that what we're teaching you and the way we drive traffic is exactly how Google tells us to drive traffic. We don't follow any sign up any sort of black hat strategies or anything that's kind of not recommended by everything we do is what is widely accepted. The difference is we do it all from with one platform and instead of taking hours and hours or days, even weeks or months to create a highly optimized site, we literally are creating them in 15 minutes to a half an hour. That's the difference. It's all about volume and time and, and having everything done right. That's what the system allows us to do. So then lastly, and most important, we want to be able to manage rankings. And within this site, we can create unique trackable links. We also, all of our sites that we create, whether it's, and they're all managed by a niche. So if you operate in multiple niches, if you have some stuff in the health niche, some stuff in, in uh, general info productness or, or self-improvement or, or whatever niche you're operating in, or if you operate in multiple niches, you can break out your rankings and everything's managed by niche. That's really, really cool. So all of your rankings, you can manage from, from one location and we track Google, we track Yahoo, and we track Bing. We also track the number of backlinks. Now, the way this is, all our, site, all our software and everything that we do, all our sites are fully optimized for Google because Google obviously has the lion's share of the traffic. I mean, there's no denying that. So if you're gonna go out there and try to create sites and say, I'm gonna optimize for every search engine. You're gonna fail. You're gonna be a jack of all trades and a master of none. You're not gonna optimize for anything. You need, to, you need to optimize for one search engine and Google is obviously the biggest player and that's why we do, but we do manage other rankings because truth be told, you know, we will rank in the other search engines and we wanna make sure that we do monitor where we are showing up in the other 
other other search engines. And, and this is what we do when we manage our rankings from right within the software. We manage all of our sites right here in one place. So I'm going to give you some examples here of the types of sites that, that we're creating using this software. And here's a quick example. Blueprint-black.info. This is a site for the Blueprint project. This was a an affiliate or this was a promotion that was done in, in January. And uh, we actually ranked number one for a lot of different for multiple keywords before and during the launch. And frankly, I can add after the launch as well because we've maintained first position for multiple high traffic keywords with no maintenance. We stopped that. We literally stopped after the launch. And, and this site's here. Go ahead and check this site out. It's still live. Um, but let me show you why this site is a little bit different and some of the things that we do within the software to create a lot of these highly optimized sites because that's very important. A lot of people are probably sitting on this call like, man, that's great. You're ranking, but you know, how the hell are you doing it? Because that's really important they have an understanding. So what I've done real quickly is I just pulled up the site map for the Blueprint project. And we had on the, on the first page, the previous page that I showed you, the home page, it was all about it was all about the offer and conversions. But behind the scenes, within the site map, for every one of these keywords that we're going after here, you'll notice what we did, and I pulled up one example here. We found this is a little nugget for you. We found the best and the number one ranked. YouTube video for that specific keyword. We created a simple text description of the video and of that keyword. And then we created a page, had that description written. Literally, you can write that description yourself, but because we're doing so much volume, I'm literally having that description written for me for two bucks. I mean, folks, it's it's so worth it to me to have that written for two bucks. It's crazy. I mean once you understand that you can do that and, and you can scale and create these pages and create these sites and, and start ranking for a lot of different keywords for literally two dollars it, it makes a whole lot of sense but anyhow all I do is I for every one of these different keywords I'm creating a a new page with a brief description and, and the highest performing YouTube video on that specific page and this is one example this is a, an affiliate promotion that I did so this page my partners and I, we created this to cr generate organic traffic around an upcoming launch. And if you check this site out and you, you search for some of these words around this term, you'll see that it's still ranked organically. And you know, the reason why we don't take it down or move it or do anything to it, one is because we're still ranked, and two, you know, we still have the ability, if it was still live, to, to generate income from these sites. And some go off, some, you know, if you're doing affiliate promotion that's like a launch, you know, sometimes it, it, it won't go live. Oh, I'm sorry, it'll it will close its doors and sometimes they'll stay live. But you know, that's not necessarily important. The important thing is very quickly around an upcoming launch and, and generate organic results around that. So what, who do you think people are gonna respect if we're showing up first for this, this product or if we're showing up in paid results, right? Because everyone's gonna show up in paid results, but we're showing up first organically. This is exactly how we do it. Now, the total time to build that site was 25 minutes. Now, we've been using this system and building the site and, and build more, many of these sites just like this. So if you're coming in new and you've never built a site like that before using the system, you can expect that site to take probably twice that amount of time, probably 50 minutes. However, I think you can understand the value even at 50 minutes on why a site like that would be super powerful and how you can generate a ton of income. Now, let me show you a recent example of another way a guy this guy's awesome. His name's Terrence Young. And Terrence is from Pittsburgh and, and he created a site. And Terrence is a little he's a little eager. He's a little eager. He didn't want to wait for his, his SEO to come back. The SEO comes back and again, the SEO content comes back in about 24 to 48 hours. This guy just threw his own temporary content on there, grabbed a quick affiliate offer off ClickBank, and what did he do? The dude generated Almost 600 bucks. Sorry about that. I just clicked back. He generated $600 in literally three days just by sharing it on a so small social media presence. 
So he created this, this site, put an affiliate offer on there, literally in half an hour worth of work, and shared it on a social media site, and generated 560 some odd dollars just like that. I mean, this is awesome. This literally just happened. If you go on this, go to earn extra money from home one.com, check out that site. That site is literally two weeks old. I mean, if you go to, if you go on who is data and you check out how old that site is, you'll see exactly how old it is. It's a two week old site. He just sent me this, this information a few days ago. You know, and the difference is folks, the way we treat our sites is we treat our sites like mansions. We treat our sites like assets. And when you have a site that is an, an income producing opportunity for you and it's generating income in an organic fashion, it's not just to throw up a shack and, and try to see what we can do it and, and just try to make it happen. I mean, it is an asset and you need to start thinking of your websites as assets. And that's where most people go wrong is they think of their sites not as assets, but just as, as shacks, shanties, as quick ways they can put up a facade, make some money, and then move on. But frankly, that's not a sustainable fashion, a sustainable business model. Now, here's another example. This is the site where, you know, this is an affiliate site where she has a couple affiliate offers and she used the same strategy where she has some content on here and she also found a, a highly optimized uh, a YouTube video on, on wine, on, on buying wine directly. And she has some AdWords stuff in here. And, uh, you know, there's a very big difference, though, and a lot of people have probably seen sites like this and even built sites like this, at least as you see it right now. But there's a very, very distinct difference from this site and, and, uh, and, and a traditional site that you might think of when, when, when this comes to mind. And this is the difference. So not only do we have affiliate offers plastered all over the page, but we also have sitemaps that are fully built out just like I showed you in that, that blueprint site example, but we also have SEO rich content with the header tag placed exactly in the right location, the title tag in the right location, the domain is, is an exact match, and the content that's contained on the home page is absolutely dialed into that exact key term. I mean, that is the difference. In this page, as you see it, was set up in a half an hour. I mean, that's the difference. We're gonna have not only a way where she can share this site on social media, but the bigger thing, or, or an email campaign, or whatever, however, if you have an existing list, but what's bigger and more powerful, folks, is this site is set up to rank organically. So while you can take this site and monetize right away, what's, what's more important, though, and what I'm really passionate about, is getting this site up and ranked on Google and having it stay there for a long period of time and have it generate income consistently without consistent outlay of capital. That's the biggest difference between this site and any other site that's like it and created out there. And the other big difference too is time, right? The difference in why this model is scalable and why this model can literally create consistent sustainable income for you and why people are using this system as their only revenue generating strategy and their only means of generating income is simply because you can build sites like this in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, and literally you're outsourcing the important work. Important work. So all you're doing is you're making sure your keywords are, are right, you're, you're getting the appropriate keywords for your niche, and we detail exactly how to do that. And then the site creation process is easy and replicatable on a consistent basis over and over and over again. And no matter what the niche or no matter what the type of, of page you're trying to create, again, if it's a lead capture page, if you're someone that goes out there and, and tries to, to squeeze names and, and build lists, then you can do that in that fashion. We have people that use the software and use the system for just that. If you're out there just trying to generate AdWords revenue, people are doing just that. If you're, if you're simply an affiliate promoter, Frankly, that's, that's a great way to generate income using the strategy as well. So let me give you a quick example here of what the system returns. And, and here's a real estate example. And I want to show you the difference between why, why we care about exact keywords and why we analyze keywords in such great detail. 
So first up, this is this is for a real estate client that I that I recently did some work for. And, and real estate, frankly, is one of the more competitive niches, and that's why I chose to share it with you here today. You know, you have a bunch of different key terms around a specific area. And when we dial in here, this is what the term's gonna it's gonna the site and the software is gonna return back to us. We have our key phrase, we have our search volume, we have competition, right? And what's really, really important, you see that. We have San Diego Homes that has 2,400 global monthly searches, and we have a competition of over 3 million competing pages. And then we have houses for sale in San Diego, where we have a search volume of 2,400, yet we have a competition of only 20,000 competing pages. So the software spits back results that are, it gives us exactly what the search volume is, other search terms that you should be looking for that are, are around your seed keyword and around your niche, and then what the, the competition is for that exact search term. And then from there, what we do is we analyze that key term, and then we look at what the type of sites are that are, that are out there on the first page. We look at the max CPC. We look at the top 10 results. We look at whether or not those pages and those sites have the, the keyword in their domain, they have the keyword in their title, they contain the H tags, they contain the description, they contain the keyword in their description. And then we also could include the max CPC data. So once we know that it's a great keyword that we want to go after, what do we do? We get the domain. Then we pick our pre-configured site. Then next up, we're going to want to publish our site. And then from there, we order content. After we order content, we're going to want to get free and, and ordered SEO, and then we manage our rankings. I mean, we boiled it down to a very simple six-step process from here. Once we've identified what we want to go after, it's that easy, and that's why we're able to build these sites in such a quick fashion. And, and why do we manage rankings? And a lot of people ask me that question all the time. It's like, okay, I do want to see where my sites are ranked, but why do we manage rankings? Well, simply, as we gain traffic, we want to build additional sites around that keyword and niche. So as you can see here, and I've, I've grayed out some of my niches, so I don't share all the niches that, that I'm ranking in some of my money niches right now, but literally there are every type of niche that you can imagine. But I, I'm going after, and shoot, I even shared a little bit of what it is, but like I'm literally going after terms with Google in it. I mean, that's how, that's how big we can go after. And you can see we're ranked in Google. We can even get ranked in, in Yahoo as well, and it's going to show us the number of backlinks. And you can see... Our strategy doesn't rank us very well in, in Bing, but frankly, it's it's not a concern for us because that's not where the lion's share of the, of the traffic is going. But this is how we manage our, manage our rankings by niche from right within the software. And what's pretty cool too, I have a lot of people on this software right now and using my system that are actually using it for other clients. So what they do is they build these sites and manage them for other clients for a fee or, or split profits or, or whatever. So essentially what they're doing is they're kind of taking over the control and understanding the process and generating organic rankings for, for clients. It's, 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 it's really cool to see how people are using this in a variety of different ways. And the other thing that's awesome too, and I touched on it before, it doesn't matter what your strategy is. It doesn't matter if you're, you're a list builder and you primarily make your money through email campaigns. It doesn't matter if you're a straight affiliate marketer where you, you primarily generate your revenue through AdSense. It really does not matter how you're generating your income online. And the biggest thing is the opportunity, and this is the example I give about the search term I gave before, just around the term San Diego real estate, we had over 400 potential keywords with traffic that we would want to go after. Folks, that's real estate, which is a niche that is not, it's, it's pretty competitive and it's not even the best type of niche out there. Typically, the, the best niches for this strategy are all those niches that you think of where people are trying to generate traffic for and, and solve problems, right? So health and wellness is a big one. Any sort of self-improvement, any, any sort of way. I mean, this is not, not a different strategy than anything that you're doing to, to generate traffic and generate profits through affiliate offers, right? It's, it's the same exact strategy. And folks, the opportunity is absolutely limitless within this software. So I ask you this question, I pose this to you. You know, which do you prefer, waking up to money in your shopping cart or simply working feverishly 
managing your paid campaigns or pulling out your hair trying to do SEO with, with absolutely no success. And folks, I'm passionate about this for one reason. It's changed my lifestyle. It's changed the way I live. I mean, I used to do a lot of manual SEO and driving traffic in a manual fashion, and it required a lot of my time on a consistent basis. But since then, it's completely changed the way I live and how I spend my time and, and how I spend my life. And, and frankly, that's, that's why I'm so passionate about it. And here's where I bring it all together for you in my niche traffic profit system. And it really is an all-encompassing system to drive organic traffic. So what it includes, it includes eight modules, modules one through eight within the SLS system and the niche traffic profit system all around strategic keyword research, all around the software itself, how to do all these searches and how to build these sites in a fraction of the time. What I call real SEO, lead capture sites. So for those of you people that haven't been able to build a list, how we can build a list organically, I mean, that is an absolute huge, huge value add for anybody who's had problems building a list because frankly, that's one of the most difficult things in, in internet marketing is building a list for that matter. Uh, data connection and management, you know, content pages, all the SEO, and then frankly, the last element is additional monetization strategies. So once we have traffic, there's a lot of different ways that we can monetize that traffic and that's what we cover in module number eight. And at the foundation of the system is the niche traffic builder software. And traffic builder software is the powerhouse that, that drives that whole system. Everything from doing all the keyword research, running the competition, doing the detailed keyword competition analysis, building out of all the sites, ordering and managing of all the content from right within the software from literally two cents a word, folks, from highly trained SEO writers. Then, on top of that, ordering all your offsite SEO from right within the software as well. And then building out all your sites that are highly optimized 100% around organic traffic and around on-site SEO. And then managing your rankings, you can, again, you have unlimited amount of unique links. If you wanna tr create trackable links, you can do that from right within the software. All your traffic's right in there, all your search rankings, it's all monitored from right within here. You also have the ability to embed, you know, one thing that I do is I, I still manage and I keep up my uh, my Google Analytics account because I want to see where my traffic's coming from. You know, most of my traffic now comes from organic traffic, but I do share it on, I do get traffic in other ways to these sites. So I don't build sites any way now other than using the software, but I do generate traffic in other fashions. I mean, the absolute best thing about this software is it is an SEO organic traffic generating machine. I mean, flat out, that's what it does. That's its biggest differentiator, bar none. However, because building sites is so easy, I build all my sites from right within this software. And so that's why I integrate analytics. And literally, all you have to do is copy your, your analytics code, and there's a, there's a place right within the, the software when you're building out the site, going through the site creation process, where you just, you just literally copy that link and, and save that link right in there, and it applies to all your pages within the site. I mean, it's literally that easy, so you can manage. If you drive traffic in other fashions, you can you can still manage it within these sites that you're building out. And you don't have to code it in, you don't have to, it's automatically done, you simply just drop that code snippet right in, click on. Now, why niche traffic builder? It's a centralized control panel, it does all the keyword research, the domain availability, domain registration, all the DNS settings, individual hosting, you can install all the websites, create all the unique content, all the design and layout, all the coding, all the ordering of SEO is all done from right within the software. Now, here's another thing. You can buy your domains from right here. It's actually through GoDaddy. All the domains are 10 bucks, please. Now, a lot of people I know have bulk GoDaddy accounts, and that's fine. Or if you prefer to host somewhere else, that's fine too. You can use your domains from any other place that you host. It's not an issue. Um, it doesn't matter where you're buying buying your domains, you can bring them and integrate them in literally with a click. One other important note, which is probably one of the most important features of the site. You have the ability, you control your sites, you own the domains, you own the sites, you own all the content, you have the ability to export all the, everything right within one click. So you can export all the code within one click if you so choose. 
I mean, it's, it's that powerful of a system. So the goal of this system is not to lock anybody in and say, okay, build all your sites in here and now you're stuck with it. Not at all. The system is so powerful that you have the ability and we feel so confident that you're going to want to manage all your sites within the software that within a click you can export all the code for that site. I mean, it's that easy. And that's why we've set it up that way. So folks, I'm not going to do some crazy big drawdown with, with strikeouts and all this other crap. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty straightforward guy. And those of you who know me and those of you who don't and spend the last hour or so with me, you know that by now. Uh, a lot of business owners pay for, for successful SEO per month, well over six grand. And flat out, what a lot of people pay me for just four sites, a grand a site. Folks, with tonight, with the niche traffic profit system, for $14.97 and $97 a month, we are gonna create your first four money-making sites for you. So we're gonna include live training calls, not with customer service, because you have customer service, you have all that. You have the ability to get all your questions answered. We have a forum right within the site, so it's a public forum. We also have support built right within the site, one click away to issue a support ticket. We are also including live training one-on-one. -on -one. Again, not with support. These are with people that we pay to build these sites out for me and for my direct clients. Folks, your first four sites tonight only, I've never offered this $14.97 in $97 a month. And so a lot of people have $97 a month. Well, let's talk about it. So for the Niche Traffic Builder software, I'm going to give you the first month free. Okay, it's included in the $14.97. And it's just $97 a month thereafter. And that would be a great price, and I, I pose this question for you. With all the features I've discussed, for how many sites? Five sites, 10 sites would still be a killer offer, 20 sites, 50 sites. Folks, you get 100 sites for $97 a month. Folks, that's less than a dollar a month per site for hosting, all the management of site rankings, everything that's included within the software that we reviewed, up to 100 sites for $97 a month. And you might ask, we have a lot of people that maintain a lot more than 100 sites. Simply, it's just another $97 a month. You don't have to pay the additional $14.97. If you just want to have an additional $97 or 100 sites, it's just simply another account and $97 a month. That's it. Folks, 100 sites, less than a dollar a site. Now, to order and get started right away, Go to www.nichetrafficprofits.com or we have some dedicated reps to call in. I know people have been some asking some questions. If you have questions, go ahead and call in and you can get those questions answered at 888-807-9964 or go to Niche Traffic Profits where I've also broken down exactly what's included and in, in, in what we're doing uh, in the system, the live training calls, the eight modules, the first four sites built for you within your niche. Folks, I'm going to go through this again so you understand. It includes the eight training modules. It includes the pre-configured lead generation and pre-configured affiliate sites. It includes four live one-on-one -on -one calls with our niche traffic success trainers. Folks, any and all questions that you have, this is not some customer service team. These are internet marketers that have been using the system for over a year that know how to use the system and replicate it sites that they've created this is not customer service this is very different customer service is included but this is very very different these are live one-on-one -on -one calls and for the first time ever we're gonna build your first four money-making sites for you folks your first four sites for you in your niche so whatever your niche is we're gonna build these sites up if you don't have a niche We'll help you find a niche. That's one of the things that we do probably better than anybody else is being able to go cold into niches and be able to find ways to make money because that's what this business is all about. You know, when you want to scale and you want to make more money as an internet marketer, you can grow within your niche. But when you understand how to generate traffic and how to make money within one niche, that's where you have the ability to scale is when you can replicate that process over different niches time and time again. But what we're gonna do, if you, if you have a niche, great. We'll build them out right within your niche. If you don't, we will help you find a highly profitable niche 
and build those sites out for you so you can start making money right away. This is something that we never ever offered before and for Offer Vault customers, it's the only time it's been offered. Folks, I go ahead. I mean, this isn't some, again, bullshit ploy. I'm probably as straight out as anybody you've ever met. If you, and again, those people that know me on the call are probably like, yeah, no crap, Ralph. I've, I've talked to you. I know that. But if you haven't, it's the truth. We've never done this before for students. I've done this for a lot of people in the past, but at a much higher price point. Now, I've also included your first month of niche traffic builder software included for free. And that's $14.97, just $97 a month thereafter. And I've included that $97 a month. The first $97 is included in the $14.97. To go to get started right away, literally within 24 hours, you're going to get a call to set up your one-on-one -on -one first live calls and to get started building your money-making sites. Folks, to get started, visit nichetrafficprofits.com or call 888-807-9964. Now, if you have experience or you want to get started on your own and you feel like you know, you're know you not ready to get started right away and you don't want the live calls for whatever reason, I mean, frankly, you'd be straight out crazy not to. I mean, we're providing this service for you. We're providing money-making sites for you uh, for the $14.97. Now, if you don't, you're offering another offer. Offer number two is the software alone. So it doesn't include the additional trainings. There's trainings built right within the platform. There's support, there's forums right within the platform well that you have. Uh, there's no live one-on-one -on -one calls. We don't build your sites for you, obviously, uh, but we will support you. Uh, for the $97 up front and $97 a month, you can get started right away with the Niche Traffic Builder software. And again, to get started, if you have questions, I know a lot of people have been asking questions, and I'm going to try to get to some questions right here on the call, but if you have questions, we have dedicated reps that can answer your questions right away at 888-807-9964 or again visit nichetrafficprofits.com where I've laid out exactly what, what the opportunity is and, and how you can get started right away because folks this strategy is the most sustainable strategy on the web to make money flat out I mean you can make money a lot of different ways if you know what you're doing using paid traffic and, and frankly I do it too but it's not as sustainable as generating consistent organic traffic around whatever niche you want. Again, to get started, nichetrafficprofits.com, where you can go ahead and call in and get your questions answered uh, right away. And I look forward, to, it looks like we have some people, people joining. I look forward to working with you right away. Again, if you get started in the 1497 offer, you will get a call within 24 hours to start setting up your live calls and start building out your sites right away immediately. And it doesn't matter what your niche is, it doesn't matter how you plan on making money online, or if you have or have not already started making money online. If you have, great, we work within your existing framework. Um, if you have not, that's fine. We'll help you pick, pick a niche, we'll also help you, help you pick an income strategy, because that's really, really important to a lot of people that necessarily don't know where to start, and we can help you with that. Awesome, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start fielding some questions here. We do have some questions here on the call. But then also, if you want to call in, you want to talk to someone directly one-on-one, -on -one, you can do that. I have provided you with that opportunity. It's 888-807-9964, or you can check out nichetrafficprofits.com, and, uh, and the offer's clearly laid out there for you. And again, I encourage you to call in if you do have questions. Just a quick question uh, to, uh, for my own curiosity here on the second offer. That $97, if you're opting for the software, without all of the additional service features, which, of course, are really the high-end uh, achievable results, people who would perhaps spend you know, 1500 bucks a day on PPC, you're still getting your 97 or 100 sites a month to manage through the software on that uh, offer number two. Is that correct? Oh, that's absolutely correct. That ninety-seven dollars includes all one hundred sites. So absolutely. for for that offer, you still you get a hundred sites uh, for a buck a month. And I'm just trying to do the math of how many sites. That's a, I, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. I can't get it's, that it's, many. It's a under. <laughs> it's 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 under a dollar a month. And and here's the deal. It really depends on what your speed of implementation is. That that's what it is. I mean, that's the difference between the two offers, flat out. Right. I mean. We can get you up and running with the live calls because, again, the live customer service is included in the $97 a month. I mean, that, I guarantee you, is like nothing you've seen before. But 
what I'll tell you within the live calls, it's it's more geared towards it's one on one with a not customer service, but it's it's for if you're looking for a niche or you know you've driven some traffic before, if you've had some success or if you haven't had some success, we work with you and your internet business on how we can make you money right away, and we build your first four sites with you. So along that process, when we build your first four sites, what we do is we do a screen capture and we create a video around exactly what we did. So and we post it and make it available to you to watch at any point so you can go back and reference to see, okay, we built this site for you and, and with you. In fact, we will build it with you on the call. That's always the best way. If some people want to just give us the instructions, what type of site they want, what type of content they want, uh, how they're looking to make money, what type of offer, we can do that for them. But most people um, that, I've, that I've done this for in the past have preferred to be on the call and we'll do that right with you. And, and that, that helps with the learning curve. But if you can't, we record it and you have that availability, you have that available to you at any time. So again, the first offer is the fourteen ninety seven, and again, that includes the 100 sites, the $97 a month. We've included the first payment. You don't, there's no $97 a month with the fourteen ninety seven offer. Offer number two still includes all the, everything to do with the niche traffic builder software, the 100 sites, the ability to do all the keyword research, all the detailed analysis, the site creation, Everything for ninety-seven dollars a month, and it's the ninety-seven dollars up front. It's not confused. There's not two payments of ninety-seven dollars there. That's, that's actually kind of a little confusing. It's actually just ninety-seven dollars to get started, and then ninety-seven dollars thereafter every month. So it's not two payments of ninety-seven dollars. Just one payment, and then you're good to go. You're up and running. Well, when you do the math, that answer on, the question. Yeah, and 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 when you do the math on the cost of paid traffic these days, and man, as we already pointed out, not only how difficult it is to get them to succeed, that's becoming a challenge, but the cost for success is going off the charts uh, for a lot of things versus organic traffic. You're not spending the money after this to then promote the thing. This is to build the site, and there's no promotion after this because it's organic traffic we're chasing here. The promotion is yeah. self-generated. Exactly, and obviously you have to buy domains, which again is either ten bucks if you buy within the system, or you can import them if you if you buy in bulk somewhere else. I mean, you know, six bucks, five bucks, whatever it might be. But I mean, flat out, that that cost is going to be there regardless. I mean, this is that's that's pennies pennies for what this is going to return to you without a doubt. Um, and, and again, you, you said it best. There is that the sites are fully optimized, and, and you need to think of your sites not as a a shack, a shanty. The site is flat out, flat out an asset. It's not a sit there and hope things come and hope this converts and I hope I can get enough traffic and I hope Facebook accepts my ad and I hope Google won't shut down my ad campaign and so on and so forth. We're, we're building these sites exactly how Google tells us to build these sites. We tell, we, we do what Google tells us. I mean, I, a lot of people that might teach SEO or maybe you've seen it before with, with some product or whatever that, hey, this, this is something new Google doesn't want you to hear. And I have friends that work at Google. I have a lot of good friends that work at Google. And you know what we do is not what they don't tell us to do. We do exactly what they tell us to do. And what we, the way we do it is in a scalable fashion. And it's not, when I say scalable, it makes the process very easy and it, it takes the human error out of it. That's what's really important. So, you know, even the best designers and some of the best SEO people sometimes will will just kind of construct a page that that's not 100% correct, and we want to eliminate that human error element of building optimization optimized sites, and, and that's really really important. Hey, do you mind if I, I answer a couple? I was, yeah, take a look at. Is that cool? We have time. No, for that? Uh, I see a couple of questions in there, and by all means, give some answers out. People are interested. Awesome. All right. So let me let me um, go down. Uh, so someone just asked that question. Um, actually, I'm trying to I'm trying to sort through these. Someone asked. All right. Here's a here's a decent question. What's the best niche market to go for? Uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty good question. Uh, I get that a decent amount. And let me just let me just. I'm going to kind of, uh, I work with a lot of different internet marketers. I have my own internet marketing businesses. Um, what I'll tell you is it, it depends, right? And well, this who asked this part, like, God, oh, geez, I knew he was going to say that. But no, I'm going to clarify for you. So 
it depends on if you already have existing experience within a niche, right? If you have existing experience in a niche or you, you, you have some kind of feedback, if you have conversion rates that have worked for you and so on and so forth, it's easier to operate in a niche that you know and that you can convert in or you have converted in the past. That said, okay? If you don't have any experience in any niche at all, well, that's what those one-on-one -on -one calls are, are built around is to, is to kind of feel you out a little bit and feel what you're comfortable with. Now, I personally feel this to be true, and some people might argue with me until I'm blue in the face, but if you have a passion around something where you have some level of experience, no matter what, that, it doesn't have to be a super high level, more, it's more to me, it's a passion. If you like just enjoy something. Um, people that enjoy nutrition, generally speaking, now there's, there's certainly examples to the contrary, but if you enjoy certain niches, you're generally going to have more success in those niches. And it's simply because you're going to be more focused, interested, and you're going to work better and operate better. I'm a firm believer in that, and some people might tell me I'm crazy, but on average, most people operate better in niches that they, they're passionate about. Uh, that said, if you're passionate about shit that doesn't make money, we're going to steer you clear. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Um, we actually have right within the software, both in the, in the offer number one, we have the ability to, to kind of one-on-one -on -one coach you through exactly what types of offers and what types of niches are better. Offer two, we absolutely have training in the forum. There's a lot of people talking about niches that they've had success with and different niches that are, that are converting better than others. And so if you're looking for different niches that are, that are performing better, we have that right within the software. We have training on it. People talk about it in the forum. Support will help answer those questions. That's there. Uh, but for one-on-one -on -one level of, of high level kind of both, niche selection and niche optimization, I'll call it. That's what we do on those one-on-one -on -one calls, but we also have that training in the 97 dollars So hopefully that, uh, that helps, helps answer, answer that question for you. I think it's good to note as well that the Traffic Builder software Someone asked, is what's... Not, I was going to say that the software is not something you just stick on your machine and, and, and use offline. This is interactive with your data structure and your research, so it's, it's, it's always itself learning and growing. That's why it's a continuous effort. Yeah. And someone someone asked too, like, just again, does the $97, is that up front? Um, is that include the first month subscription? Yes, it does. That It's $97. I, I ordered that in properly. It's just $97 a month. So it's not two payments of $97. $97 a month and that's it. And, and, and someone someone even commented on this, you know, that the $14.97 is a high price. You know what? Flat out, you're wrong. It's not a high price. Um, that's actually a very, very low price for the training, the one-on-one -on -one calls and setting up of money-making sites. It's an absolutely, it's absolutely a very, very low price for for this product and what we're offering, um, without a doubt. And, and you know, I can say that unequivocally. That that offer is an offer I've never made before, because again. Typically, I would charge $1,000 per site I would, I would create for somebody. That's, that's generally my average price. If we were going to create a site for somebody, that's what we would, we would do. Um, but this is the first time I've ever offered four sites for $14.97. So I, I, I appreciate the fact that it, that it is an investment, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a very, very, very good offer uh, for the $14.97 and those, those sites. I think we got time for one more question, and uh, I was looking uh, through the list here, and here's a fellow in Thailand asking, can he configure the search, the research to uh, look at uh, foreign search engines, pardon me, foreign search engines of his choosing? So has this sort of got global administration rights? Uh, the answer for global searches, it's, it's really built around Google, meaning like, in other words, it doesn't it doesn't optimize for uh, foreign like Baidu for instance or like other other search engines uh, throughout the world we're not optimizing for that um, one one actual strategy that's working really well that people are doing though that said uh, people are actually using uh, it's actually Brazil is, is a big a big niche right now that a couple people are operating in they're using Brazilian language based sites using the software and finding some really, really cool niche opportunities using kind of, uh, using Brazilian Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese language um, and building niche sites around those types of products and, and, and that, within that language set. 
But again, it's all built around built around Google. It doesn't it doesn't track or, or optimize for uh, foreign search engines. If that's was that the question? Yes, uh, I, and I'm assuming that someone's looking at things that only apply perhaps in their part of the world versus Google. Um, not living in Thailand, I don't know exactly what the alternatives would be over there. <laughs> I think Google's still the big search engine. Uh, I, I, you know what's funny though? I, you know what? I, I can appreciate this. I got, I'm going to give Ronnie a shout out here if I do. I know he said one more question, but you know, Ronnie, thank you for recognizing. He said 1497 too much. This guy's crazy. I paid over fifteen thousand for one site alone, that, and there's there's no doubt. I mean, people that have ever done it before, it is super competitive. It's without a doubt. I mean, I can say it. If you've ever if you've ever built a money making site that's optimized for organic traffic, it, it, without a doubt, it is absolutely very competitive. And frankly, um, um, I've never made an offer like this before. And, and I appreciate those who have already taken already taken advantage of the offer. Again, visit nichetrafficprofits.com if you want to check it out. Or again, call in, folks. We have people standing by to answer your questions. So if you're kind of like, hey, I got a question about something, no obligation. Just call in and get that question answered. We'd love to answer it for you at 888-807-9964. Man, it's been an absolute pleasure. Hopefully, people are telling pretty passionate about this because, again, it's a uh, – oh, I, I got I to answer one more question. The question was, do you allow for opt-in forms like AWeber? Absolutely. We actually, you can use any type of opt-in form for any database. doesn't matter if it's AWeber, Constant Contact, Infusionsoft, um, iContact, doesn't matter what, you could even drop a Salesforce web form in here. I mean, you can drop any type of, of opt-in form that you want in here. It does not matter. If you, so if you are a list builder, um, that's, that's, and that's a strategy that we use a lot. I mean, we, we absolutely do a ton of affiliate marketing. Um, but we're we're pretty big list builders, um, and we, we do it pretty successfully. And we're building lists through organic traffic, which which is you know anyone who's who's thought of that conceptually can understand how valuable that truly is. So I think that's all we can do for uh, for questions here. I know I've already run over time, so I'm, I'm probably already in trouble. <laughs> well, it was a heck of a lot of useful information in there, and we go back to the original point that what three percent of results come from the paid traffic. So if you look at a budget and say 93 or 95% of the activity comes from the organic side, if you're investing in the organic, you're chasing the real traffic where it returns. That's what you want to go for. And I really want to thank you on behalf of uh, Mark and everybody at Offer Vault, Ralph. It's uh, really been an interesting evening. And folks, check it out or make a call. I don't know if, what uh, time zone his folks are in, uh, whether you wake them up or catch them at the beach, but by all means, make sure you uh, give it a shot and uh, see what you can get uh, going on your own. Yeah, and you're crazy. I mean, like I said, it's $97, and you can cancel any time, and anything you do within that $97, if you don't take advantage of the $14.97, you can, the $97, you get in there, and, you know, for whatever reason, it doesn't work out for you, you can export your sites, and you have that, it's, it's yours. And we feel so confident we've built it in. It's not structured in a way where it's like, it's impossible for you to cancel, or it's impossible for you to get your content out of there or your sites. It's yours. You own it. It makes it super easy because, again, the, the power of the software and the power of what it does, we're just so confident. Well, thanks very much again. And uh, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> and good night, everyone. Everybody enjoy themselves, and we'll see you on the next one.